Hey guys, and welcome back to the Let's Play. We've gone straight back into the shipwreck. As soon as it's an, uh, a no go for building stuff yet, we didn't really have enough items to build things, so we're going to go ahead and explore. And we've seen a few things uh, zombie pirates. And uh, I forgot what it was, those little lobster kind of things. Yeah, those things, gunnies. Oh my god, another zombie pirate. Those things are a bit tricky because they come straight towards you. And they just don't, they're a bit like Terminator, they just don't stop until they get you. So you gotta kind of. Hit those guys and go straight after them, don't let up. Whereas the other, the gunnies you can kind of hit and you can uh, stick and twist and. And that's two gone. So we kind of cleared out this. What was that? The, oh, I picked it up already. So you, those you can kind of deal with a little bit more. I don't think there's anybody else. Oh, I just said something. Oh, what's that? Oh, cursed rose. So it's another kind of cannibal plant type thing. Well, this one I'm guessing uh, curses you instead of uh, doing gue. Sunshade, something that again doesn't seem too useful, really. Let's try and uh, have a look at these. So, that gives us a bit of an idea of where things are, but not too much of the layout. I've got a speed plus two, that's a bit more useful. That's that gone. So the row is not much more difficult than the cannibal plant, really. And we've got another piece of the town. Lamp. I, l I love lamp. And let's go and see what everybody else's thirst levels is at. She's not too bad. What about Goro? And I have to admit, Goro, since getting his new weapon, he's kinda, his usefulness has gone up a little bit more. Uh, there's only enemies down there. So we'll go ahead and go up here, because I kind of leave any kind of building up levels, I'll kind of leave those to when I'm not recording. We'll get past those spikes of doom. Oh, there's some more of those things. I'll just uh, avoid those for now. And we'll go to this back area. The end area first. And it looks like there's quite a few enemies in here. One of them moving around, so I'm guessing it's another zombie pirate. Yeah, he's there. But what else have we got in here? A gunner. One thing I've noticed is these enemies are a lot more... A lot more aggressive. They're a lot more they come and seek you out rather than just hang around in a little area and kind of react to you. They're a bit more proactive in their hero slaying. But so far, Gunny's kind of the only one that's 
a little bit more unique. Whereas the other ones of the pirates, kind of the skeletons again. Just the zombie pirates instead of skeletons. And the plant is just like the cannibal plant. Let's go and see what's in this. No repair powder, that's pretty sweet. And we'll check this one out, maybe we might get a, a mimic. The ship cabin key, so it was a good idea to come down here first. As soon as we needed that, let's go and see what our reward is all for beating up those bad guys. What have we got of the town? A tree, and we still haven't got a building yet. I'm a little bit disappointed at that, we haven't actually been able to put anything down to show for our hard work yet. To kind of start the village off and make it look like uh, we're kind of getting things done. Those guys, the advice is just keep hitting them until they fall. Because otherwise they, they just hit you with a quick fire kind of stabbing at action. So just be wary of your just be wary of the uh, your weapon's health. But just bash them. I found. Whereas with the skeletons, it was more of a, they you know dodged and fainted, and you could give them a one hit. We don't need to bother with the plant, so we'll leave that alone. We've got the item now to move on. And I don't think we even need to go to the other part of the map now, because we know that's just enemies from what we can see there. There's no real need to go down there. And like I said, if I ever need to build up, you can just go back over all these levels again and redo them, so... It's kind of not me being cheap, it's just that I know I can already do that kind of stuff and you know, once you've seen the enemies so many times, you don't really need to keep seeing me beat on them. I can kind of do all my grinding off camera, I don't think it's really, you know, that... By the time I get to the end of the level, you know, each stage of this game, you've, you've seen all the enemies, you've seen everything that each level's got to offer, really. So we'll go ahead and just grab these. It might be a bit of a smash and grab this bit. I might fight the pirate uh, prison again. So it seems like a couple of buildings double as prisons. Unless there's more than one prison. I think that's for something like whatever the town hall is. Rutte, so we've got another uh, character. And a big. Well, we'll. We'll guess. I'll say poison. Yeah, and we guess right. I, for some reason, I always guess poison. Uh, sandbreaker. So we've got another weapon for Claude. Oh, and he got there first then. Well, that's the first time we've been hit for a while. And there's something else over here. So I want to investigate what that is, because we don't seem to have had uh, mimics just yet. So let's see. Oh, mighty healing, that's a pretty fine item to get. A nice all-purpose healing item there. That's going to be a good one just to keep in the uh, inventory, that. And since we've done so well, I'm probably going to do another level. Because we might as well, we've got plenty of uh, he uh, repair powders. And again, we've not actually gotten anything yet. This uh, game's probably making you work a little bit towards uh, restoring this town. So now we're on the third level. I kind of forget how many were on the last one. I think it was, what was it, about 
12, not 13, about four, 13, 14 levels or something. And we've got a box, a chest already. And a, a baton. So maybe batons are more uh, the, the lure of choice on this one. I can hear somebody finally moving. I've got a cheese, a healing item, I don't really need that too much. And Sam, so we've got another person. Okay, so I may as well go and heal. And we'll use Goro. Because other, everybody else needs a the weaponry upgrading as well. So you know it's good to give everybody experience, so I'll give Goro a bit of experience here. So he's got rid of one of those gunnies. And hopefully he's not he'll get rid of two. There's a bit of a dodgy camera angles here. And I can see that plant. I don't know what Eevee is, I think that might be another, that might be another, yeah. Fish bait, oh I think that's for the sea fish, that's for the back area, I think that's the first time we've got a back area item. But we're running low on space actually. We'll use Torn, because he's kind of the plant specialist. And I'm still trying to get this base lad up. I mean, I'm thinking of giving up on it, because I know I'm not going to use it anyway. Even at the upgraded form, I probably won't use it. I'll be trying to upgrade the... Oh, no, I'll just bash it. I didn't know bashing it worked that well then, but I thought I'd give it a try. I thought you never know, it could block it from doing things, and it did. I thought there was something moving then, in the background. So I wanted to have a little look at that. But I think it was just a trick of the light. Is that two of those? That's pretty easy. We can avoid those for now. And that's an attachment. This one, I think it'll be a map. I'm sure it'll be something to do with that. And that's the area for going to the back area. Which I don't know where to try because we do need some things. I think I'll... I may leave it actually. To kind of... Goad it into doing an attack. Oh! Uh, kind of get over here, I think. Yeah, just avoid that. Try and get in a buffer in between me and that. The other one. Right, I'll not push my luck with the base lad now. I mean, I don't know how much, but I do need an attachment actually, like to boost up the attack. I did too many then. And I think I got a, I maybe even got another little hit there. But we've already got the hook now. So now everything else is, we don't need to bother with really. But we've got an attachment there and I want to find out what it is. So we use the new weapon that we got, the Sandbreaker. Only thing with that is, it makes you more thirsty. And that's what you get comes into play later on. You get um, items of uh, special things. So that won't be a weapon that I'm really going to bother using, I don't think. So let's see what this is. And it's just an ass. I don't really need an ass. I mean, I suppose with the back area, I could just run in and do a, a smashing grab. But I think I'm going to save the special item. 
the battery mat um, until I'm gonna actually do a little leveling up session and do a bit of a grinding session and that's not just for yet. I'll go to this other area first because this is gonna be where I'm I can build up a thirst and then come back and hopefully have a drink before it runs too low when I go through the last area and I think each area has got its own added character so there'll be another character on this bit which I remember who it is but I don't want to spoil things just yet so let's see what this is it's a thunder so there's nothing else in here so we'll just briskly get on our way and avoid the zombie pirate for now and there's no other things in here either so they're making it a little bit more awkward with the less atla rich levels as well making you plow through more oh we'll just get out of the way of that guy you know plow through more of the levels to get less of the atla just to I don't know if it's to lengthen the game up a bit, maybe, I don't know. But I don't actually need to fight these characters now. And we've got a bicycle. So, I'll probably avoid this big group. Because it's a get, it gets a bit awkward to fight a lot of them in a group. So, I'll avoid those. Like I said, I can always come back and build up myself. So I'll probably just take on this guy here, he's been following us. And then he's trying to get out of the way of his attacks. And then... Oh, and again, I'm a bit slow on the uptake there. Again, Torn seemed a bit slow then. Setting off, there is... Oh, there's another one. I'll avoid him for now because I don't really need to get involved with them now that we've got the item to get move on to the next level. And it's a bit of a different feel to this level. It's a bit more of like a haunted kind of house level this kind of sunken ship I mean nothing really threatening because that's not the kind of game it is but I like how they did the themes and the good thing about these and the some of the other skeletons is these guys don't seem to block so they are actually a piece of a cake for GL to deal with but again, there doesn't seem to be much in the way of Atla. And again, we've picked up a few things without actually progressing in the town yet. So we've got everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and we'll make it on, I think, to a third level. And this one's a bit of a strange one because it's going up instead of down. I mean, it's not much of a difference, but I know the rest of. Well, then again, I don't know because I suppose with the with the cave, it was going down. With the forest, it was just going along and going deeper into the forest. This one is going up. I'm assuming the ship's upside down. King, that's another character. And that looks like a lock. So, and it sounds like a zombie pirate on the other side of that. So, the course is it Corsair? I think it's pronounced. Yep, oh, and the old put one of these in a corridor. Routine, great fun. 
and we'll soften him up a bit first. Well, I suppose he didn't hear him or her really because it's plants are kind of asexual, aren't they? Oh, and the hitting curse curses you. So that's what curse does. I can't fully remember what the curse were. I knew it was something kind of like that. Which is not that bad of a thing if you don't, at the time of doing it, you don't intend to. If you don't intend to move it. Release this from spells causing major damage. And then dead. Oh, we have got a revival powder now. I didn't realise I got myself one of those. Um, does that work on Curse? Yep. It must be just from Curse then. Well, I don't know why it doesn't just say Curse, because it'd be a lot simpler than say Magic. Oh, and I think this one we've got a lot more... Oh, now I know what it is. You've got to set off with your attack. In advance of him, because it... Like I said, he's very quick. And we've healed ourselves anyway, so that was a nice one. But a nice view, I think this is a kind of... The town building level. This one, by the look of it. Push cart. So we've got our first little... Building kind of thing. But that's a merchant. And I think there's a lot of merchants in this town. There's a lot of different shops. So maybe this will be our one where we can kind of... Buy and sell things more. I've got a water mill. And what's this? And Wilder, that's another character. So we're getting a lot more characters. I mean, maybe it's just the fact that I think the things that you pick up are randomised as well. So sometimes you'll get different items first. And a mellow banana, I think that might be another fish bait. Oh, we've got our first mimic. Hey, buddy. And a lot more cautious cats this time around, by the look of it. Definitely not attacking in the frequency like the other time. Like when we first met these guys, they were chomping. I'll tell you what you don't usually find the need for a lot. And this is the block button. The block button doesn't really get much of a look in. Oh, we haven't had another one. I thought they might, have, they might have put another one right in there next to us as well. But this weapon should be very near its ABS now. Yeah. We're nearly full on that. And I do need to get... I'll probably stop using it for the time being until I get something that boosts attack and endurance up quite a bit so I can actually build it up. And we've got the key now. So we can go and look in the rest of the ship. But it's been a fun little game to go back over and this is one of those other games again that's... It's more of a nostalgia trip for me. A lot of the games that I've been buying recently, that I've bought since I started collecting again, have been games I missed out on the first time around. The, this is a a nostalgia trip, which has been similar to a lot of my other Let's Plays that I've done. Like Broken Sword, for sure. That was another one that was I had great memories of playing that on the PS1. And just jabbed away at him. Ooh, I was expecting that now to be a mimic. And another mellow banana. There could actually be something to do with healing, actually, as well. And that's another one of those. Corsairs. And the, 
I don't know why those guys aren't fond of attacking us then. The bag's full. It's all those bananas we've been getting. Ah, oh, so that ref they heal you, but at a cost to your your thirst. Um, I don't think there's anything I can use really. I think we've got a drink in here, so there's no point wasting our water. Because we could have a level where we don't get anything. So it'd be a shame to waste it. But is there anything we can use? That's going begging. Uh, I'll use one of those. We'll build Tons HP up here. Oh, it must be an... Uh, what is it, actually? That's a shame. <laughs> I should have actually looked then. Oh, no, it's a Mimic. Man, these guys are a bit less cautious. Oh no, I walked right into that one. Right, so we've we've upgraded that now. So let's change. And we'll put this on now. Even though it's a slightly less powerful than our base slide actually, but it's got more of magical attacks. Which I think Thunder's gonna work really well on this level. What have we got on actually? Uh, it's got everything it needs, I think. Has uh, anything else got any room? Yeah, the chopper. So let's put two of those on there just so we can get rid of that. That is an attack plus one, and we need that. And that's the exit. I don't think we've got the hook though yet. But we won't be looking to leave just yet anyway, we've got things to get. And uh, it'll be probably the end of the video once I get to the end of here because I don't really want to go on much further. When... We've got building to do in the next video so that'll be a pretty separate video. I mean we've still not got much. Push cart, fish, another one, so I don't know what that means. That m m could be, it means it's part of something. Oh, and I didn't react quick enough then. I wanted to get rid of him before I opened this in case it was a mimic. And we've got another attack plus one. So, oh, and there's two of these mothers. And we hit him then. Should get rid of this one. Yeah, we got rid of that one. He got off his little attack though. And we've got the thing to get out of here. So that's great. And we've only got one more area now, and it's just a quick run through enemies, and I can finish up on this level then. Joker's house, so that might even be our first house, and I think he's a creepy looking dude. And we have got Joker, so... That is cool, that's something to be getting on with. We could talk to our first... Well, not our first member of the town, because we've already spot to... I can't even remember his name, but Merchant Gap. Yeah. Merchant guy. Oh, wouldn't you know? Just been trying to get on and rush through levels. Oh, now I'm doing the map when I've only got one more area to look through anyway. And if this is Corsair, I'm thinking it's a Corsair because it's coming straight at me. So avoid. 
Hopefully I'll get away from this cursed thing. Sheriff's office. I think I've got might even have sheriff already as well. And a pillar. I think that's it for this area. Yeah. No, it's an it is an enemy and it was a, there was a course here coming after me. But we've got through this level now. I'm just gonna avoid everyone. I've built up a weapon for now. And I've got the items and we've got the hook, so it's time to bail out. And go back to dry land for a bit. Being a bit claustrophobic in this tub under the sea. And we'll reassess, see what we've got, and come back and get some more items later, and I'll do a little building video after this. So, we're out of here. Well, I'm going to go and leave the dungeon now, and go and rebuild some of Queen's, and I'll see you back in Queen's when I do the next video, which is a little spot of building. So I've got time for folks, I'll see you later.